Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 5th of 2022. Well, it is titled a beautiful triffid. So what do we see here? Well, this is known as the Triffid Nebula, and it is also known as M20 for the 20th object in Charles Messier's catalog of objects that were not stars. And what we see here, it's in the direction of the constellation of Sagittarius, which is in looking towards the plane of our galaxy, and therefore we tend to see a lot of nebulae. Now this is a very interesting one because it does show three different types of nebulae that occur. First of all, we see dark nebulae, dark dust lanes going through this and in fact dividing it up into the triffid pattern that we see. And those are dark dense areas where there is enough dust that the material becomes opaque and does not let light pass through it. So we can't see through behind to see what is going on there, at least not in visible light. Infrared and longer wavelengths like radio can see through the dust and give us a peek into the stellar nurseries and the stars that are forming there. We also see the, around the outer edges are the blue light of reflection nebulae. A reflection nebula occurs when a little bit of dust around us around stars then reflects the starlight. Now it appears blue for a couple of reasons. First of all, the stars that are primarily there are very hot young blue stars emitting a lot of blue light. In addition, the uh, Gat dust is very good at rescattering the blue light and not so good at scattering the red light. Now we saw this before when we talked about the dust. The red light and longer wavelengths are able to pass through. So the light from these stars, the red light passes straight through and we don't, don't see that coming out. But the blue light gets scattered and appears to come from all directions, much as sunlight gets scattered by molecules within our atmosphere, making the sky appear blue. Now the third type of nebula is the pinkish red color that we see. And this is an example of an emission nebula. An emission nebula occurs when ultraviolet light from a young star excites the gases around it, in this case, especially hydrogen. And since hydrogen makes up about 90% of the atoms in the universe, there's generally a lot of hydrogen around. So what it does is rip the atoms, the electrons off the atoms. And then when they recombine, they give off very specific wavelengths of light. And the one in the visible spectrum for hydrogen, a primary one at least, is a specific red line, giving the emission nebula the distinct red color. And when we put them all together here, we get to see the red of the emission nebula, the blue of the reflection nebula, and the dark dust lanes showing the three different types of nebulae that we look at. So that was our picture of the day for August 5th of 2022. It was titled A Beautiful Triffid. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be the grooved moon of Mars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.